everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. And so on my Facebook page, Pouring with Sonia, I said I would take requests for anything, any color scheme or technique that anybody wanted to see me um, pour. And my friend and I, who used to play fantasy football together, she just had a man, well, she had a lady crush on Aaron Rodgers because he was her quarterback and took her to the Super Bowl. So she loves Green Bay Packers. And she just said Green Bay Packers. That was it. Um, so I'm just going to do, I'm thinking of Packer Universe. <laughs> so I thought I'd do like a multiple cherry ring pour and create some kind of galaxies of the Green Bay Galaxy. <laughs> so what I have here, I have some Sap Green by Artist Loft. And I have also some permanent, deep permanent green by Liquitex Basics. And then just primary yellow by Blacrylic. And the Artist Loft Flow White. I mixed all of them. Well, the white, I should say, is two parts flow troll to one part paint. I just have that pre-mixed in a container that I use for just about everything. But for my colors, for my tree rings, I do three parts flow, flow troll two parts Elmer's glue wall and one part pouring medium. And then I mix that one to one with my paints. And if I need to, I can thin a little bit with water. So like my Liquitex is a much thicker paint than my Blacrylic. So I added a little water to that one just to thin it out a little. And then just a, just a little bit, like a few drops. Well, I mean, 10 drops or so, like a little drizzle. So, um, and the pouring medium for that is the Sergeant Arts vinyl gloss, uh, vinyl gloss, uh, varnish, I'm sorry, not vinyl. Um, I think I am going to do four cups. I'll lay them here. Put a little flood coat down. I'm pouring over an old pour. And whatever color you put in first, you have to remember that's going to be the color that comes out last. So it's going to mix with Oh, maybe I'll do the yellow next because the center of my universe, Green Bay Packer universe, is going to be what I put in first. So let's do some of this deep green permanent down here in each of these four cups. And now I just have the one yellow, but the two greens. So I have four ounces of that, two ounces each of these um, greens, and about four ounces of the white for a total of 12 ounces of paint. I need about 12 and a half to cover this canvas, but I also have a flood coat down, so I probably don't need all of that much. So I'm going to put a good amount of the yellow down. I'm going to kind of hit the side of my cup. It's going to be sandwiched between two layers of green, so I can put a good amount in there. And then just come back with a little bit of a lighter amount for my next one. But that's going to be the center of my universe, so I want a lot of yellow to show up. I tried this once before. And I had these same colors. I added, though, some gold and some black. And that black just took over and the gold was not a good. So it, it's a really cool pour, but it's not really Green Bay Packer Universe. So, ditch the black, ditch the gold, double the yellow, double the white. And I want the white on the top because the color that's on the top of your ring pores, they're probably going to get rolled over on or tilted off. I don't care if the white gets tilted off, but I wouldn't want like my yellow on the top or my green if I want to try and keep those. I don't mind if the white gets a little bit tilted off. So that's going to be my last color in the cup. First color in. Oh! You guys, I was just totally talking and not paying attention. I just put all of that green. Oh, my gosh. All right. That is not what I meant to do at all. 
I'm going to put a little yellow there. And then a little green here. All right, let me just focus. <laughs> so I need a little green, little green. I meant to do a little bit of green in each of these cups when I started talking. And uh, poured it all in that first cup. <laughs> I guess I should really be paying attention. A little yellow. I just wanted to have just a, a small little layer on this layer. Most of the colors are on that first round through, but... Shh. If I think about that too long, I'm just going to start giggling. Because that's funny. Focus, Sonia. No squirrel. Don't get distracted. Chit-chatting away. Okay. Well, I really need to make up some lost room on these cups here. Okay. And a little more of this green. Don't have a ton of it left. <clears throat> I can't believe I did that. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat. And uh, yeah. Totally got distracted and was not paying attention. All right. That happens. Because that happened, I think what I want to do is put that one kind of in the middle. And it's going to have, it's going to be the biggest one. I don't want to put it in a corner. Or maybe I'm going to tilt it off. All right, so this is my one with the most paint and the most green. So I think I'm going to put it right in the middle. And then just kind of pour some others around it. Okay? <laughs> Let me move my chair. This is not what I intended, but it is what I'm left with because I messed up. Darn, I've got some squiggly wigglies. I really wanted some nice, neat. I probably should have just done a straight pour. So what I don't like right there is that. I don't want those kind of wing type things. I want to try and swirl them out just a little. Okay. Now... I might end up doing a big one here and a big one here and then two little ones there or something like that. I'm not sure. Well, I'm really getting those wings, the straight pour. So I better do a little bit of a... And I know I'm going to need all four cups because I know I'm going to need <clears throat> 12 ounces. So put this one here.
So I think for this one, <clears throat> I'm going to get all the color, though, over there. So I don't know. Let's see. Where's the color? Where's the color? Where's the color? I wanted some of that really dark green in the middle of this one, too. And I'm really quite bad at getting the centers to be... But these look fairly good. I'll come right here and just kind of fix him a little. Tighten them up a little. That one looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good. Now what I normally forget to do is torch the bubbles out before I start tilting. So let me just kind of go in here and get some of the bubbles out real quick. Your bubbles. Better to do it now. So I'm not trying to get any cells with this because they don't have any silicone in it, but I do want to kind of pop some of the bubbles. Okay. I think I'm gonna have the hardest time doing this, so I think I'll stretch down to there last, and I'll start up here. Well, actually, let me come to this one next because I don't want to tilt all of that other one off. The little baby one. Hmm. I think I will come here next. I'm of two minds. I'm going to go up here. Get that tilted. Just right there. Then we'll come down here. Come back up. Kind of want the weight of the paint to get behind this one and kind of push it down. without it going all off the side. So I moved it down a little. So I'm gonna come back over here. So I don't destroy this whole middle. And now I'll kind of try and push it down. Didn't come quite far enough over because this little part's not going off. There we go. <laughs> I'm probably going to end up losing it all anyways. Yeah, I am. I tried not to. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. So I think I want to bring some of this yellow here off to the side. 
because I like that I like that green stretched out with the yellow. Okay, bring that, that back to the middle a little. I feel like I can stretch the center out a little bit maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I just leave well enough alone. So, there's my Green Bay Packer universe. Let me bring you in for a close up. Check my sides real quick here and get these corners actually before I do wipe my hands off. <clears throat> That's all good, right? I'm gonna walk around real quick and just look. Okay, good. I do need to come and touch that up. Right there even. Oh, I just dripped on my floor. Okay, now I got my sides done. I'm gonna swipe along the bottom so that it stops pulling on the edges. Those little drips off the bottom will keep on pulling from your sides and grab paint and just keep stretching it over the edges. So wipe those drips off to stop that a little bit. These cups out of the way. Tight space. Last side I've got to wipe off here. Now I can bring you in. <laughs> okay, I think that's a fun Green Bay Packer universe. All right. So, I got some nice crisp lines here of the green and the yellow. Universe, center of the universe is Green Bay Packer for the Green Bay Packer fans, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's such a shame because that was my darkest color one and I was trying to save it, but I couldn't. But that's a pretty fun pour. Yeah, so if you want to see a certain color combination, oh, I like that one the best, I think, maybe. Hmm. That's pretty cool, too. Um, if you want to see a color combination or a certain technique that you'd like to see me try, either leave it in a comment um, underneath this video or go to my Pouring with Sonia um, Facebook page or, or leave it on my Instagram page. I got it all over the place. But just leave me a message and I will try and do that for you and we can kind of keep one another entertained while we go throughout the self-isolation Okay, so I hope you liked this. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel. I would love that. And until we meet again, have fun painting everyone. Bye.